Hey, St. Stephen, I'm Jonathan, the new pastoral intern, and this is my very first Wednesday devotional video. The gospel reading for this week is from the book of Matthew, and it is related to one of my very favorite things, lists. I love making lists of things. For example, I love to take a piece of paper and a permanent marker, and on the paper, I'll write down my list of things to do. And then, when I've accomplished what I want to accomplish, I cross it off the list. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Also, on my phone, I keep a list of movies that I want to see. Currently on my movie list are Ordinary People, Night of the Living Dead, <laughs> To Kill a Mockingbird, so if you have a movie suggestion for me, send me a message and I'll put it on my list. I like the Gospel of Matthew because it contains one of Jesus's most famous lists, the Beatitudes from the Sermon on the Mount. Maybe you remember some of the items on that list. Blessed are the poor, blessed are the meek, blessed are the peacemakers, etc. Now I love being a Lutheran and Lutherans love lists. In fact, one of the most famous lists in world history was a Lutheran list. Here's me in front of that same door in Wittenberg, Germany. I think Martin Luther's favorite list was the Ten Commandments. Luther got so excited about the Ten Commandments that he wrote the small catechism and spent some time analyzing his favorite list. So, back to our reading for this week, Matthew 18. You may have noticed that many of the verses we've been reading these past few weeks are from Matthew, where Jesus is establishing his church. This week, Jesus says to us, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. You know, Martin Luther read Matthew 18 and he got so excited, he made a list of five things the church is for. Have you ever said to yourself, why do I go to church? What are we doing here? Well, here's Martin Luther's list. The church is for hearing the word of God. The church is for confession and forgiveness. The church is for baptism. The church is for holy communion. The church is for the mutual conversation and consolation of the saints. That's us. Nice list, Luther. For further study, check out On Concerning the Gospel from the small called articles in the Book of Concord. And tune in this week on Sunday when I get to preach the sermon on Matthew 18, where we will hear about Jesus' establishment of the church and his promise to be with us. In closing, I will say a prayer from our ELW Cranberry Hymnal. The front of this book has a gigantic list of prayers for just about any occasion that you can imagine. And so I'm gonna read from page 75, a prayer for the mission of the church. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Draw your church together, O God, into one great company of disciples, together following our teacher, Jesus Christ, into every walk of life, together serving in Christ's mission to the world, and together, witnessing to your love wherever you will send us, for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.